Hi everyone. I wanted to talk today about um, how my relationship with my own inner parent is changing or rather it's my relationship with all different parts of me. So as in all of us, there is the me as an inner child which actually controlled, before I became aware of it, controlled much more of my adult life than I realized or that I would have chosen consciously. And then there are also such participants as my inner father, inner mother, inner lover, um, you know, inner queen, inner child, like all these different parts of us, right? What's really, really interesting is that to observe now that I'm more and more in conscious awareness, how these different parts of me come uh, are expressed in my life. So for example, a lot of what um, has allowed me to create what I've created in my life, and I'm talking about my business now, for example, my coaching practice, it had to, my inner father had to step in in great measure and create the kind of structure, the kind of discipline for me that I was um, resisting because I was doing so much in my life from that place of pushing, duty, obligation, um, need to fill certain roles that were prescribed for me as a mother, as a woman, as a wife. and. Um, what is really interesting is that once I started waking up, I went into full resistance and rebellion. I stopped doing a lot of what was required and actually just started rebelling. It really was that and stopped want, you know, stopped wanting to do what I always did as an automatic. It served you know everyone well because suddenly my husband had to step up that's what many of us don't realize when we're so afraid to let go is that we think that the world will crash and burn if we're not vigilantly overseeing it well what i noticed is that yes yeah, some things are not going to be perfect but i had to learn to accept others contribution even if it wasn't perfect perfect the way i would have done it okay because it actually freed me in my, for, for other things that I actually wanted to do. So that's one lesson. So I allowed myself, you know, I went from one extreme to the other, which is a typical trajectory of how, you know, how we grow. And then at some point I started realizing, you know, as I was starting to build this other identity or I wanted to express more of this other a way of being that I have completely buried, which is my public persona and my public figure. And I started, you know, becoming a published writer and, uh, and I became a coach. And um, for example, there was a lot of information that I was receiving, a lot of messages I was receiving from other people and from kind of the ether that I need to get on, on video. I need to get on video. and that felt like so edgy and so scary and so not me that um, I kept postponing, postponing, postponing. And then as I told some, some of my clients already, at some point I made myself a promise that I would, um, that I would do a video starting with my birthday in August 2020. And of course, you know, so I, I knew that I was going to do it. I knew that I was going to do it. It was my promise to myself. It was my intention. And then, of course, I woke up the morning of my birthday thinking, uh, do I really need to do that? Maybe I don't have to do it. Maybe I don't have to do it today. I'll do it some other time. But luckily, I was then by then aware enough that I was able to see that voice that sounds quite logical, but is really very sabotage of our dreams something that that likes to keep us in our past um and something that that easy like there is a voice in us that wants comfort right there is a voice in us that prevents from going to toward difficult things um, even if they are the one what we want and and crave and and said you know and dream about so 
I was able to, I guess the other part of me, maybe that inner father was able to step in and say, no, no, my dear, you've made a promise to yourself. So now you have to keep it because if you don't keep promises to yourself, how can you expect anyone else to keep promises to you? So then I did, I, you know, I went and I did my video and that started a whole new branch of my life as a coach, as a person, as a person who finds safety in visibility while I always um, found safety in invisibility before. So I really expanded my own, you know, boundaries. And so it was very important for me for several years to really be very disciplined and very strict in my promises to myself. That also what pushed me toward creating my first masterclass that I did exactly a year ago in November of last year. And that set me on a completely new trajectory in my uh, coaching as well, because that then led to group coaching sessions, etc., etc. Also creating my program, my group program, right? Because until then I was just working with one-on-ones and gaining experience and, and trusting in my capacities and all that stuff. So what I'm trying to say by all that is that where I find myself today is in the last several weeks, I made two promises. Um, as part of my Safe to Be Me program, we're now in the stage where we have 30 days of keeping a promise to ourselves. And I picked the promise that wasn't just any kind of a chore or obligation because I knew that alone doesn't work for me anymore because I've done so much for myself. Now I have to be very careful to be in balance and not to continue pushing myself a lot just because I've made a promise because that was my default setting in the past. So I picked something that I knew my higher self would find a good thing to keep anyway um, and that is moving my body every day this gets me out and even if I don't get out for some reason uh, I still make some movement at home so that is so today I think is day ooh, maybe 15 or something day 15 of my promise to myself to move my body every day and and so far I've kept it you know quite diligently and then there is another promise it was kind of a secondary promise. It's just something that I kind of wanted to do is to show up here on video for my followers who told me that they miss my 100 daily videos that I did um, in the summer, spring and summer and a little bit of the fall. And I kind of miss being in that conversation with whoever is watching. Um, and so I said, I will take the last two weeks of this year and show up every day. And you know, during Christmas I fell off. <laughs> there were two days when I didn't show up and I think yesterday I didn't show up either, but I showed up today. And so what I'm doing with that is being a little bit more playful because it's not really a promise that will change my life. I know I've done it. I've kept my 100 days of showing up on video every day last spring and summer. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I did it. I did the 100 days, so I know I could do anything now. And I know that, you know, finding myself where I am today and I'm in full celebration mode this end of year, end of calendar year, because there is just so much that I am proud of, of, you know, pushing myself in so many different realms. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that it's really important in this new aware relationship with myself to know when to push and when to lay off. It's all about harmony and that inner balance and that inner marriage of all these different ingredients, all these different voices within me. It's really, really important when to know, when to push, when to lean in, and when to relax and when to lean out. It's kind of like a wise parent to myself, you know, where a wise parent knows when to say, no, you know, you're going to school today and, you know, you're going to wake up and you're going to put your clothes on and you're going to go to school. And when to say, you know what, rules are made to be broken. This sounds like a very good day to not go to school and to have a rest and to catch up on, you know, whatever it is, relaxation, etc., etc. So 
you know, play with that with yourself. I know I can trust my inner father for setting the discipline, for showing up regularly, for, you know, working diligently, delivering things on dates that I've promised them, delivering, you know, my lectures and delivering my other, you know, articles and all that stuff. I know I am very good at that. What I've had to train myself to do more of is really relaxing, allowing myself to not be this working machine, allowing myself to take joy and pleasure in relaxing and being more in flow and being more intuitive and allowing myself some of that softness and leisure and and breaking promises to myself. Do you know what I mean? So. Um, so the message here is really be really, really, really attuned to yourself. Know yourself so well that you know when is the time to lean in, lean in, and when is the time to lean out. You know, be that loving mother, that loving, wise mother to yourself who knows when you're just being cheeky and you know need a little bit of discipline and when it's really time to rest and to lean out and to give yourself that um you know to to allow yourself to break some of your own rules i think it's really 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 important to remain fluid so as somebody you know who spent my whole life majority of my life pushing and pushing and pushing and trying to fit into some somebody's idea of who i should be you know what it means to be a mother what it means to be a wife what it means to be a woman um i'm really in very very much in flow these days with my own ideas of who i should be and who other people still expect me to be and to be very playful and mutable and really allowing myself to to be attuned what does today require of me what does my inner world today need more of discipline or relaxation and leisure and playfulness and fun and so when i am in that inner listening everything becomes fun so like now i am actually keeping my promise to myself in movement because i'm on a beautiful walk it's a gorgeous day i get out of the house although you know it would have been easy not to get out and just like there's always plenty to do and at the same time, so I'm keeping that promise to myself and I'm keeping my promise to myself to show up for two weeks um, on camera. And I will catch up on the days that I didn't show up, you know, in the previous week. But what I'm trying to say is that it's all in play and it's all in fun. And first of all, I'm in play with myself. I'm in play with myself. I'm in play with life. And it all becomes so much more... Um, of a celebration and and loving this life and being amused and you know enjoying a lot of enjoyment these days from my life because I'm allowing myself whatever it is that I need in that moment being very flexible and very fluid all right everyone just wanted to share that with you I hope you're enjoying your last week of this year, uh, the last few days actually, and um, I'll be back.